from 21 yards away. Tyler Bass. The kick is good, and it's a game winner. What are the most difficult conditions to kick in? The rain, snow, freezing temperatures, or wind? I would say the main thing is probably the wind, but um, you know, I think it's one of the hardest places to kick in the NFL, but I think it's so challenging, but I think you become a better kicker from that because you're getting tested even at practice every day. The wind's left, right, you gotta play with the lean. Um, but the main thing is the wind. I read uh, that your grandmother was the person that kind of motivated you to, to get into football. Yeah. Um, what did she say when you were younger to get into football and when did you know that the, the pros could be an option? This B team actually needed a kicker. So she's like, hey, you play soccer, just let's go in the backyard and kick and I did. and. Uh, kind of looked, kind of came off natural, like good rotation, and um, wasn't kicking very far at that age. But I would say the NFL. I would say after my junior year in college, that's when I kind of had a thought, like, okay, I, I got a chance, you know. Um, coming off a good year, feeling good, and that's when I would say I had a good chance to go. What do you consider the most memorable kicks of your career, going back to your younger days? I would say when in college, uh, my junior year, the Camellia Bowl was a good kick. Uh, I would say a couple kicks my rookie year at the Cardinals. Um, and then this year we had a kick against the Ravens I enjoyed. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say. Who did you emulate your game off of growing up? I'd say it was more self-taught. Um, I watched you know a bunch of kickers growing up. You know, I watched Tucker growing up, uh, Janikowski. Uh, but really just more self-taught, just kicking and just, you know, Staying at it, really. What's your mental process before every kick? Yeah, you take a breath, um, just relax, uh, just focus on, you know, your process. Don't worry about, you know, the surroundings, the conditions, the fans. Just focus on your process and don't worry about the outcomes. And if you can take care of your process, the outcome should take care of itself. Finally, how long can you bomb one? Yeah. Good conditions. Mm, I'd say anywhere between 65, like the high 60s, I would say. I feel. I feel like we can get it in.